I certainly believe that parents have choices. And one of the choices they make is to send their kids to an elementary Catholic school for their values and for their education. And we have an opportunity to serve them. I like that it's small and all the teachers know like every single student's name. We usually sit down and we'll say a prayer and we'll do the Pledge of Allegiance and then we'll go on with our classes. We have specials during the day like gym, art, music. My favorite subject would be math. He usually tells me his favorite subjects are uh, gym and recess and lunch. Ah, <laughs> so. uh, gym. That and recess and then we'll do religion at the end of the day. It's just how it was 50 years ago when I went here. We've got several parents that have gone through here and their children are here. It's very strange, yes. Well, physically, it hasn't changed much. There's a few of the same faces that were here when I was here. Mrs. Berry immediately greeted me, recognized me. And I said, oh, I went to first grade here, and I believe this was my second grade classroom right here. When you go downstairs, they got all the pictures of who went here. <laughs> and I see my mom and it's kind of funny. Things are updated with computer technology, you know, where we just had, you know, flashcards. We had nuns teaching us. In full regalia. It was all about faith and self-discipline. It was like fun trying to get away with stuff. As a child, no, I fought a tooth and nail. <laughs> I can now pretty much say that I am who I am today because of my Catholic education. And that's why I chose the same for my children. Mother of Sorrows is a godsend, I think, to us. I mean, it's just everything we were looking for education-wise, with the religious aspect, everything for our children. We thought, geez, it'd be nice to be in a little bit smaller community or smaller class. Everyone in my class, I know. As we've grown with it, it's become the sense of community. Everybody knows everybody. The parents all know each other. The the kids all know each other. The teachers all know all the kids. He went to St. John's Grace and it closed when he was in kindergarten. We were left with the decision of what do we do? So we toured a couple other Catholic schools and we just felt the warm family feeling here like we felt at St. John's. You want to make sure that, you, that they're around other families that you know have similar beliefs. Our stated vision is that we are authentically Catholic and academically excellent. And we chose it in that order because being the faith-based has to be first. Instead of like with science or stuff where it's just like chemistry and explosions and stuff, I mean religion is we're talking about God and Jesus and it's just, it's soothing for the kids. We all, we're all quiet in that time. And they have you look up things in the Bible and you walk in and you'll have like a prayer before everything. Both of them will come home and we'll sit down to say grace or something and one of them will start saying, you know, Hail Mary or Our Father. The saints are really interesting to learn about every day when you get to learn, like, what they do and stuff. I'm kind of clueless on the saints. <laughs> I mean, I gotta be honest with you. The more I've been here, my own faith increased in that I was like, now I know why I'm here because now I can take my faith and bring it to the children. It's the math and it's the computers and it's the science, but I enjoy those, those second graders, you know, walking through the hall singing, you know, Silent Night. They could pray to Jesus and that can help them in, in all their endeavors. I trust in God and I mean, I can't, you can't say those things in the public school. I can put two children next to each other, talk to them for five minutes. At the end of their conversation, I can tell you who goes to Catholic school and who doesn't. There are some lessons that you learn in Catholic school which you don't learn any place else. I think it establishes a, a work ethic. Honesty and respect for others. The spirit of giving back. Kindness. The respect that is taught uh, for both uh, people and property. You have to have respect for your teachers. I mean, I went to a Catholic grammar school, Catholic high school, and I'm going to a Jesuit college. So I'm, I'm used to discipline. I always just went home and did my homework. I don't remember mom and dad ever telling me to sit down and do your homework. I just did it. And that learning experience, how to work, stays with you as, you know, as an adult. 
I think foundations need to be started when they're young and let them know you have to follow rules or you do pay consequences. It wasn't, you know, slap on the wrist, hit you with the ruler kind of school. It was definitely more laid back than that. When I went to school, I think there were more corporal punishments, let us say. I remember being put in a cloakroom for something that I had said or whatever it may be. I, I don't think there is much of a, a discipline problem than perhaps there used to be. That's true. But the reason why um, my kids go here now is that I know, I know they have structure, I know there's discipline, and I know they're safe. We decided to send our children to Catholic schools and, and make those primarily financial sacrifices, and it's, to us it's well worth it because it's feeding the future. The first money I took out of my paycheck went to Catholic education, and everything else followed that. I went to work, I went to Kodak, just to make that extra money to make it happen. I'm very thankful that they made that financial commitment. I'm very grateful to my parents for sending me to a Catholic school. I said thank you for sending me to a school like Mother Sorrows and Aquinas. Thanks, Ma. You're welcome. <laughs> From kindergarten, I wanted to be a teacher. And that's all I played when I was a little girl, school. Had my own classroom for 10 kids. <laughs> if you asked some of my high school buddies if I would be in education at all, they would probably laugh because I was not on the route of going to be a teacher. I prayed for every snow day that we could get. <laughs> I can't fathom any other career that would be this satisfying and this enriching to me as a person. The teachers, there was such the school apart. They really help you and they explain stuff really good. To work in a Catholic school, you have to be dedicated anyway. You're certainly not getting rich. They really care about you and they show that they care. They treat the children as if they were their own children. Because as my mother used to say, if we don't show them a larger world, who will? And today, our kids are just as global as, as a public school student. Personally, I don't know how one can get through uh, some of these tough times in life without having, you know, a good Christian background. And I think the ed Catholic education system just grows that in you. And it's like family here. And I said, my children need to come to this school. This is the best place for them. When we have all these kids coming together, you know, at the Christmas play or participating in the Mass um, or in prayer or doing um, you know the service projects um, those are the moments then I say um, you know this is why I'm doing it. The children will probably remember seven percent of what you teach them but they will never forget the kind of person you are. How do you as a teacher work with that element? You set an example and that cumulative experience of Catholic education in all those years is what they will bring to their families in the future.